Hey, I'm Sasha. I'm over here in Taipei at the ASUS headquarters. And uh, I finally got my hands on the EPC 1000HE, which is right in front of me right now. Uh, which is just a kind of evolution model of the EPC 1000, right? Because uh, pretty much the only difference is, compared to the battery uh, uh, time, because this version should run for at least 9 hours, I guess ASUS said 9.5 hours. Uh, the biggest difference is, of course, yay, we got a keyboard. This is a real new keyboard and it reminds me a little bit of the keyboard of the new MacBook Pro or maybe even the one that we see on the Sony Vaio. Whether it is a P version or it's a TT version, which makes even more sense. So I think uh, some pretty cool improvements, not radical changes, that ASUS did with the EPC 1000 HE, but really a kind of evolution that makes perfect sense. So um, the keyboard feels different uh, compared to the 1000 uh, HE. I still can feel a little bit of bending going on, but still in general, the feedback from the single keys is way better. Um, you can reach them way better and yeah, it just makes absolutely sense to um, improve that keyboard to the previous model. Um, besides that, it's uh, pretty much the platform that we've seen before. But I guess as Joanna from Laptop Mac told us, um, that version came with a Intel Atom N280, but was still sporting um, the 945 chipset and not the GN40 that should be available in, I guess, March 2009. So we might see it already uh, on CBIT, so a new improved Intel chipset for the so-called media enhanced netbooks. Well, that's how Intel calls them. So besides that, um, not many difference. So we still have the same trackpad, we still have the same mouse buttons, and even our little quick launch keys over here are the same. And let's take a quick look around the system. So we have a VGA out, and we have a uh, for your PSU, um, your connector, two USB uh, 2.0, 4-in-1 uh, card reader. On the front side we have just nothing, right? So, and over here we have the connectors for your headset and for your microphone. And uh, third USB 2.0, uh, Ethernet connector and the Kensington keylock. So pretty much um, the standard configuration. Uh, when we are looking at the bottom of the uh, chassis, we see a huge big lid uh, where you can or where you have your drive bay and your um, memory slot uh, uh, behind this and uh, of course we have this huge battery over here so let's take a look how huge it really is there we go sorry I have only one hand left so it's a 6600 milliampere battery at 7.4 volt so that's definitely a huge battery and I'm looking forward to run some battery tests. Well, no, I don't even have to do that anymore because Joanna Stern from LaptopMac.com did this. So just get over to LaptopMac.com, look at her review and you will know everything about the new Intel N280, how the battery life is and of course what she thinks about the EPC 1000 HE, which is in my opinion, again, a real competitor for the netbook market. Great evolution of one of the best sellers, which uh, um, the EPC 1000H was in the past. So I'm sure that ASUS is very well positioned with this evolution, the EPC 1000HE.